a nuclear physicist on TV, chances are he's talking about splitting atoms and quantum theory. Well, not here. Today, we're asking one how to get gum off the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> Meet Dr. Franklin Rule. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me Thank on. you. Well, my first question is, don't you have more important things to do <laughs> as a nuclear scientist than to deal with this? Well, as you may know, Jenny, I have my own cable show, Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. And, of course, I cover topics such as UFOs, ETs, paranormal phenomena, dinosaurs, etc. But I realize people need a few household facts, tips they can use for everyday life. So I try to incorporate some of those into the show. Are these your own frustrations in uh, life? Many of them are. Like the gum on the shoe? The gum on okay. the shoe, yes. What's and the secret? Well, let's tell you, any time I step into gum, it makes me so angry I'd like to throttle the neck of whoever spat it on the ground. <laughs> but what you have to do is take that shoe, place it in a plastic bag, secure it with a twist tie, put it in the freezer compartment. Drop it on the floor, that's very freezer important. Freezer compartment of your refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Okay. Then it's frozen, you can just lop it right off with a knife, screwdriver, or anything else with a flat uh, side such as this knife. Let's try it here. Do you see that? Yes. Right away. Go All right. No more trouble with gum on your shoe. No more gum on your shoe. <laughs> What is this for? Okay, we have a plastic bag with a beautiful blouse. You should rip this plastic right off. I'll tell you why. We all tend to be lazy when we get clothes back from the cleaners and just hang them up with the plastic on. But the plastic promotes the growth of mildew, especially in coastal regions. Don't be lazy. Rip off that plastic as soon as and you get the garment. And throw it away. That's <laughs> all right. No more plastic bags. No more mildew. All right. Now, why do you have butter on, okay. on the Anytime show? Anytime you open a package of butter, I'm sure you have this experience, you see that there's some left on the wrapper. You have some residual butter you're wasting. No longer do you have to waste it. Take these plastic wrappers, put them in a plastic bag, keep them in the refrigerator. And put them on the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, that's the wrong. Save them for a time when you have a recipe calling for greasing a baking dish. Then you just smear it here. You've saved some money. Now, I'm your assistant. Okay. This will not make you rich, but at least it reduces the extent to which you're ripped off by our society. I'll add some more cholesterol to your diet, too. I don't... That's a good... That's a really good one. Now, you have okay. coffee and a filter here. Yeah, we have here. coffee and okay. a filter. Before you put this in your uh, percolator, put it in your refrigerator if you might have some offensive odors because the aroma from the, the coffee will permeate the fridge and tend to mask those odors. Then you can put it in the coffee pot and make it do double duty for you. And you won't pick up any uh, flavor from roast beef or whatever's in the refrigerator. So make that coffee do double duty for you. This is better than baking soda? Uh, no, but it's just another <laughs> use. <laughs> it vitamin. makes the refrigerator smell better. All right, Okay, vitamin. here we have a vitamin bottle. Now, I'm glad you're taking your vitamins too, Jenny. But you notice the cotton's still in here. Once, and most people have this misapprehension that the cotton's there for sanitary purposes, what not you, so. What do you call it? Sanitary purposes. No, cotton. No. Cotton. 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 Uh, cotton. Right. <laughs> now, what do you do? Uh, one problem is it's in here, not for sanitation, but to keep the, the little vitamins from... from hitting each other during shipment. Once you open it and touch it, you've actually contaminated, because unfortunately, most of us has, have germs on our hands, even Jenny here. So when you Just put it back, you're actually contaminating the entire supply. Instead, take that cotton and put it down someone's neck, not back in the bottle. I oh, I wish cotton's gone. Okay. okay. Bananas. Now, you're taking your vitamins first before taking a vitamin or any other pill. One. Take a banana. Take a bite of banana then swallow it, then take another bite of banana. It actually helps the swallowing purpose. It's sticky, it carries down the vitamin through your gullet into your stomach, and it tastes good, it's nutritious, and it makes swallowing easier, especially for anyone who might have a problem with swallowing bananas or anything like that. It's swallowing pills. pills. <laughs> That's it, did you know that? It works, I've actually done it with bananas. Okay. Yeah. Now, you have potatoes and straws yes. here, and they told me what you're gonna do. Anyone can I do this. Now, I claim, Jenny, that I can drive this lily-livered straw right through this rock-hard potato. This is a raw, let me tell, this is a raw potato. No, uh, it's not hasn't cooked. Been cooked. All right. And it's not soft. Now, I say the magic word, Gai, pinch the straw and right in. Do you see that? Through, completely. Is it amazing? Would you like now, to try it, Jenny? Try this it, This is too, 
Now, First of all, explain how this works, because okay. there has to be some kind of a, a, psych, a, a scientific. A scientific is the word. We're all surrounded by air, which acts downward with a pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch. When we press the straw, we're actually trapping air in this straw, you making it akin to something like a, a, a nail, so it goes right through the potato. You pinch the straw. Yeah, and say the magic word, gai. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay. Bad straw. Gai. Let me go. <laughs> Would you let a professional okay. do it? Professional talk show host. Gai. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Again, let's try that again. Right, try another potato. What am I doing wrong? Again, pinch okay. it and just straight through. Straight through. Gai. There we go. I did it. One more time. Gai. You see that? Well, now, why would you want a potato with a straw in it? That's what that's my question. I know. Happy hour in Russia. That's okay. it. Have a sip. Have a, thank you so much, Dr. Okay. Rowe. Thank you. Thank you. You are wonderful. Okay. And then, until next time, may the power of the universe be with you. That's what I said.